Hey guys, it's the Friction here, or Tiger Tank 1 2, however you want to call me, I don't really care. And today, we're going to take a look at Company of Heroes. The first installation, that is. This was one of my first strategy games back in the days, when it was released 10 years ago. This is actually the 10th anniversary now. That's exactly why I'm making this video and why Relic is selling this game at a reduced price that's why i have to really tell you guys you should check out this game if you like real-time strategy games if you like historic settings world war ii if you're if you're very interested about world war ii the the western front this is only western front comedy of heroes one is only western front then you should definitely check out this gem 10 years old and still has a thriving community and is still one of the best World War II strategy games that I've ever played. Or one of the best strategy series I've ever played. I've played a lot. I've played Man of War. I love Man of War. I love Company of Heroes. I love Command and Conquer, StarCraft. I'm really a big fan of strategy games. I played the, the new game, uh, War Games, uh, War Games series. I played Roofs, which came from the War Games maker from Origin Games. And I've played a lot of Company of Heroes back in the days. And this is just an iconic game, in my opinion, because I'm a very interested person in history, especially in World War II. I mean, the worst war, the worst war for humankind and what we people are capable of as of good and as of bad. That is just one of the things that get me to this topic over and over again. And that is why we're going to be playing War. <laughs> we're going to be playing Company of Heroes now. Not well, thanks. Excuse me. We're going to be playing the first mission of Company of Heroes, Omaha Beach, on the June 6, 1944, D-Day. This is one of the most iconic missions I've ever played. One of the most iconic introductions into a campaign. So. Before we begin, this was back in the days when THQ was a big publisher. Unfortunately, I think three or four years ago, they went broke and they had to sell all their licenses like Company of Heroes. That's why it's Sega now. This is the Steam version. But fortunately for us, Relic still exists. Very good studio. Company of Heroes 2 is also a great game. But we're going to watch this cinematic and I'm going to be quiet. Oh, 
So yeah, that was the cinematic. In my opinion, one of the best cinematics I've ever seen in a video game. Still today, 10 years after its release. And I love how just the cinematic goes over to in-game graphics. And this is exactly the point where you, as the commander, start to get control of this entire mess. Omaha Beach, 6th of September, a horrible landing, everything went wrong. The bombing of the uh, bunkers back there, well, the bombers missed the entire target, and that is why these men down here don't have any cover, actually. Well, in this game they do have cover, but in actuality when they landed, they almost didn't have any cover so this is in my opinion one of the craziest things because you can move all these people you can control every single one of these guys and you have to push them to the shingle because that's the only way they can survive this chaos so we have to get the uh, engineer to blow up that barbed wire fence And just imagine, 10 years ago, this was the most intense introduction into a game as a, as a strategy player, somebody who loves strategy games. Just imagine, you're sitting there and you're looking at this, at this grand game with all the graphics, it looks amazing and just the atmosphere is crazy. Now, this is where the fun begins. Now, you're able to play back those crowds. And we're gonna nate that machine gun nest, and then we have to take out the bunker. We have some more infantry over here. Unfortunately, we're losing a lot of our men. And we have to take out that bunker. Sergeant Connie? Ready? Yes, sir. Silence those 88s. Sergeant, round up your men. All right, listen up. First squad, prepare to move out. I think this game. Oh, we're gonna get ourselves uh, MG42 that we can actually equip. I think this is the only game, only strategy game at least, that has touched upon this uh, theme and has hit it spot on with the with the uh, devastation that morning on the 6th of June on Omaha Beach and I think that is exactly why this was also such a success so 
So we gotta take out that bunker right there. We only have one engineer over here. We're gonna take it out with our engineers since they do have session charges. And now, what's important for me is to capture that 88. With that 88, we can take out all the other 88s. Now, I played this game a long time ago, so I know. I still do know all the, the, mo the important things, the things that I need to take care of. So we're gonna reinforce these guys, and we're gonna take hold of the 88, throw a hand grenade. And now, since there's only one guy, in the original game, if there was only one guy manning the machine gun, uh, the 88, he would just die. And <laughs> that was that was actually one of the one of the bugs. We have to reinforce. We're gonna push that machine gun. We have to throw a hand grenade on him. We gotta keep this engineer unit alive. We do have a machine gun. Unfortunately, they cannot. You cannot order your troops to to get on the ground. So we're gonna just reinforce. We're behind the machine gun now. They cannot shoot our troops here. We actually have space to throw a hand grenade, and we're gonna take him out. Now we're gonna blow up this bunker. So 88. Turn around and take out these guys. We can only reinforce in our own area that we control. And since, oh, actually, we don't have enough resources, we're gonna blow up this bunker. We have to be a little bit more conservative with our strength and our units. So we're gonna take them back here. And we're gonna use one of our engineer units. No, actually, we're gonna use one of our uh, infantry units right here to man this heavy machine gun this 88 can keep on firing uh, it has a crazy range definitely that was one of the main problems back in the days uh, that's why a lot of people actually modded this game and uh, try to try to balance it some bit more and I tried out some mods and they were really good actually most of them just shows you that you should actually value also all the people who mod the games who put a lot of time into it we're gonna get the other machine gun down down there with our troops we're gonna move up and get our other machine gun into that ditch now with this 88 we can take out that bunker back there we just have to light it actually let's shoot at that machine gun one unit can pick up two weapons from the ground. That means you can have one unit with uh, two machine guns, two portable machine guns, and we're gonna take out this bunker since it's a secondary objective as well. And you can just see the carnage fighting the Germans up here. Actually, down there it was a lot crazy, uh, a lot more crazy, but uh, I mean, that's just. Still, it still is one of the my favorite games of all time. So with this 88, you can actually just finish this mission very, very quickly. So shoot at the second 88, and you can see the carnage, the brutality in this game. And that's the first mission. Sergeant Conti, get on the radio. Tell HQ our draw is clear for the tanks to come ashore. Secure the perimeter and dig in. Inform Dog Company that we are in position and waiting for them to come offshore. So, yeah. I think that is enough of an introduction, or just... Oh, wait, we we forgot one bunker, unfortunately. But... 10 year anniversary of Company of Heroes. One of the best World War II strategy games still today. Better than the Part 2. So many mods, a thriving community, and history, history, and World War II. What more could you wish for? Base building and all that, it's, I think, in the top five of my favorite series. 
um, fav you know favorite uh, game series um, and I really really enjoy the setting the atmosphere and the the, the campaign is just amazing. Still after 10 years, you could still play it and have just as much fun. So yeah, congratulations to Relic Games. Although they have been sold by THQ back in the days and they have witnessed so much change, they're still at it, producing great strategy games and staying true to, them, to themselves. So I'm gonna go congratulate them for making this glorious piece of software, this amazing game. And if you have never tried it out, I think now is the best time to try out Company of Heroes, one of the best strategy games of the last decade. Up until then, see you guys. And uh, just a disclaimer, I think I'm going to be making more strategy game videos from now on, maybe once every week. I put that to my mind a long time ago, and now I actually want to do that. So, i see you guys on the next one. And if you're looking for World Tanks content, don't worry, my channel has plenty of that.